Master, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today, we'll be getting you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides would like to tell you today. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. Here we go. All right, Cancer, here we go. Eight of Swords, Strength, Ten of Wands, King of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Can you see that? Okay. I don't know what you're going through, Cancer, but it doesn't feel fun. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know. I wish I had better news for you here. You feel you're ca carrying a heavy burden right now, but you'll be able to put it down soon. Whatever you're worried about, whatever you have anxiety over, they're just saying stay strong, be courageous, have find that inner strength, keep going because it's not going to last forever. They want you to embody the King of Wands, somebody who's fiery and passionate and just goes after what they want somebody who's ambitious and strong three of pentacles is a teamwork card so it looks like you might be working with somebody soon to either achieve a goal or you know there's some cooperation or some com or some com collaboration <laughs> couldn't get that out collaboration um in the near future here so let's uh, oh, let's get some more. All right, we have seven of wands, seven of cups. There's your double numbers. Ah, seven of pentacles. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Three sevens in a row. That like never happens. Five of swords. So again, if you're seeing sevens and triplet kit, it just means that, you know, hang in there. Your angels are with you. They'll They'll help you get through whatever you're getting have to go through and things will will change. You're on the right path. Everything happens for a reason, unfortunately. I don't know what you're dealing with, but it kind of feels yucky. So anyway, they want you to stand your ground. So stand up for what you believe in, have the courage and strength to do so. Um don't let anybody bring you down or try and talk you out of something or change your mind. Stand your ground. Seven of Cups is you have options or you have opportunities, but make sure you're choosing wisely. Make sure you're making the right decision for you. Not for what's best for everybody else. Make the right decision for you. Seven of Pentacles. That's like an analyzing card. It's like taking a look at what you've done so far. Do you keep putting energy into it or do you switch it up? You know? Is the juice worth the squeeze? You got to figure that out. If you decide yes, then great. Your hard work will pay off for you. But if you decide no, it's not working out, then switch gears. Now's the time to do it. There is some conflict in your life. I don't know what it is, but there's conflict in your life. So sometimes we got to cut our losses and walk away. I don't know. You have to ask yourself, is the battle worth it? That's a, a decision that only you can answer, you know, or a question only you can answer. So let's get some more. What is with this camera? Anyway, here we go. Standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. Again, seven of wands energy. 
standing your ground, standing for what you believe in, defending yourself, not letting anybody take advantage of you. Whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. You got to forgive somebody. I don't know who, but they want you to forgive so that you uh, raise your vibration and you good things come to you. It looks like something good wants to come in for you, but you might be holding it off here. Reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. All right. So whatever you're going through, it's uh, happening for you. And it, it, it's going to be for your highest good in the long run. There's a reason you're going through whatever you're going through. So it's not the universe wants to punish you. They don't. They never want to punish us. They want you to learn and grow. So it's happening for you. It's happening for your highest good. So just kind of change your perspective a little bit. Peacock, raise your standards. All right, Cancer, don't let anybody treat you the way that you don't deserve to be treated. Raise your standards. Don't settle for less. Stand your ground. It's all kind of the same message. Standing firm. Communication is key. Speak your truth. Get it out. Don't bottle it up. Let it out. Communication is key. Tell the people around you how you feel stand your ground voice your truth oh, hang on drop the card real quick okay it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so I, I have a feeling you're not feeling loved right now and they want you to feel love it's safe for you to love back Okie dokie. Let's get some, let's get a love advice card. I feel like this reading's all black and white. Like there's no in, in, intuit, intuitiveness here. <laughs> Is that the right word I'm looking for? I feel like I haven't, I'm not earning my keep on this one. I feel like it's just cut and dry here, black and white. Anyway, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So, keep that in mind. Material things don't matter. It's the memories and the experiences that we uh, hold on to when we cross this world. So, let's get a, a Dreams of Gaia tarot card. They're not quite traditional tarot so we'll read let's see what comes out for you the hero uh 10 11 12 of fire 12 of fire i don't know what 12 of fire fire is usually they only go to 10 but let's Take a look. Yeah, 12 of fire. Interesting. The key words are guardian, protector, savior, activist, selfless, and honest. All right, so the hero represents somebody we all admire for their noble qualities, their courage, and willingness to champion and rescue the weak and the vulnerable. 
When the hero appears in your reading, you are being asked to embrace the code, to act self- selflessly for the greater good. It is time to be the best person you can be, to resist pettiness and behavior that makes you less than you could be. We cannot all perform heroic feats, nor are we all meant to. However, we can choose to hold ourselves to a higher standard and treat all those we meet with dignity, kindness, and compassion. So, they want you to be the better person. (laughs) They want you to be love and light and be kind. (laughs) I don't know if you want to be right now. Um, Because you're feeling a lot of anxiety and a lot of burden here. But that's what they're calling for. So I have to deliver the message. Let's get you some charms. Yeah, friends. So I don't know if you're mad at your friends, upset with your friends, or... You need your friends right now. Either way, friends are important at this time. The universe wants to bring you a gift. I don't know what that could be, but they do. It feels like you might be at a crossroads at right now, trying to decide what direction to take. And I'm going to tell you that a change needs to happen. So the leaves are changing. But it's okay to be you. It's okay to be unique. It's okay to be an individual. It's okay to embrace who you are. Just be honest. You have the tree, so that means that you are strong, you're sturdy, you're grounded. Finally, you have the month of October, so I don't know what that means for you, but there you go. (laughs) Again, this, this, there wasn't a lot of uh, intuitive it wasn't really an intuitive reading here it was kind of black and white cards just kind of spelled it out you got to take what resonates for you on this one I'm not feeling overly connected to it but anyway that's what I got for you cancer so give the video like subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment because all of those things help me and I appreciate you for it I do and I guess until next time love and light